but I wouldn't go into more detail about this because it's so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you do dances and stuff while you talk about it? See, that's why I do dancey hands. I uh, will go inside, I guess. Um, so we're, we're working on electrical today. Um, just still cleaning up excess wires. It's just small, tedious jobs, but um, it'll make a big difference, and it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of work to do. So I took off part of our controls. Um, this was here. It had a bunch of. Uh, Door switches, light switches, all of that. Um, just the small little switches that um, are needed for the bus, like the front heater switch um, that we don't need since we took all that stuff out. Um, left our light switch on off, our dimmer, and our door control. Um, so that's basically all that I have left here. Um, now I'm going to start working on the dash. Um, we did have a cruise control set up, um, but we don't have that anymore. So actually on the dash, the only thing that I'm gonna to need to save is the door engine light to make sure our engine compartments are shut on our door and our wipers that are over here. The rest of this is actually gonna be able to be thrown away. So um, I already unscrewed it and um, we'll just take it apart real quick. So right back here, this is gonna be pretty simple. These are the cruise controls that we don't need. We need the, do the door light, so I gotta save that. And then the rest of this, we'll actually be able to remove completely, um, which will you know, cut some uh, weight, clean up some space, and it'll also uh, give us access to all these extra wires down here from those front heaters, some of the lights that we didn't use. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. So in the process of eliminating wires and which ones to choose, the correct ones, um, it would be best to start at your control panel, see what you have there. It's normally on the outside of the bus. Or for example, for us, we had an AC unit um, that had a whole bunch of electrical wires running back to it. Um, we, we knew that all those wires were eventually going to be removed. So on one end, we had this that ran along the whole length of the bus to that AC control panel. The other end ran to the front. Um, we knew that this was our only orange wire, so we could automatically either cut that in the middle or cut it at one end or the other and feed it all the way through to pull it out. Um, one thing that I also did that helped us was on the other side of the bus here, this was set up for speakers, um, which we took out and it started up here in this front corner um, and ran all the way along the length of the bus. Um, I knew that this was the speaker wire from previous, so what I did is I just wound it up as I went all the way around the bus. And then when I got to the end, I just double checked with our fuse box to make sure that it was a speaker wire or an auxiliary type wire, and I cut it out. So a lot of your wiring um, is gonna be tangled up probably, unless you had a really good electrician that cared. Um, a lot of times they're just getting them out fast. So you're gonna end up with like a tangled mess and that's what makes it hard or um, to do by yourself. It is beneficial to have somebody else help you. That way you can say, uh, look at this green wire and you can give it a little tug. They can see where it's going to, um, vice versa. And you can verify with each other to make sure that it is appropriate one to cut out. In that piece of armrest that I showed you that I already removed, were all the controls that we have here. So we had a lock, um, a heat, uh, heated mirrors. This is your outside marker lights for the side of your bus, a driver dome and the regular dome lights. We're actually removing all of these except this outside marker light. Um, we don't wanna have anything set up in the bus that we're gonna have to turn the bus on for to get power to. Um, and let's say for example, we left let's say the dome lights on and wired them into the bus. If we accidentally flipped that switch without turning on the bus, it would eventually drain your batteries if you're not set up to shore power, a generator or solar panels at that point. So that is why we're removing anything that is not going to function while the bus is in, while the bus is on or in motion, the rest of it is gonna be removed.
So here we have our kind of our schematics for our fuses and our all the wiring. Um, if you're an electrician, it probably makes a lot more sense to you than the normal person. Um, but it kind of shows where every plug should go to the wires um, should go to. So for example, right here, this one runs up and this controls our automatic door. That's the electrical for our, our door switch. Um, and you can figure that out by looking at your schematics here. Also, you might have your fuse box in here, which then again will also tell you what certain things are. So your backup, our backup lights are going to be F24. So you find F24. That's, and then you can pull that fuse out, check it, see if it's damaged. Um, right here, you can see we have our all of the fuses for our air conditioning. I'm about 90% sure I'm going to be able to remove most of these. I haven't traced them all the way back to the bunch of wires to make sure that I can remove them, but I'm pretty sure that I will. Um, but I just wanted to show you, for example, um, where is it? So right here, this wire, uh, when I originally opened up our fuse box, this wire was not connected to anything. Um, so if it was, let's say, connected up here, and you thought it was something you could remove, you just kind of follow it back. And right here, it comes up into a control panel, and this is for our headlights. So um, it was actually disconnected. So it's probably just some auxiliary, um, maybe a ground or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's not even plugged in to begin with, but it would be something you could cut if you wanted. I'll probably just roll this up and tape it in there. Um, because it, it's kind of, uh, um, I'm not 100% sure if it's still useful, um, but it was disconnected to begin with, so I would assume that it would not be useful anymore. So another little um, tip that we found that helps us is, uh, this piece was disconnected. Um, I, did, I did this, I don't know, about a month or so ago and just haven't gotten around to finishing taking it out. But, so if I just tried to grab the wires here and pull them back, you can see it's all kind of tangled up. Kind of makes it hard to figure out which one we actually need. <clears throat> so one thing you can do if you're unsure is go back about six inches, cut the wire off. That way, if you did make a mistake, you still have room to cut the coating off and re-splice these wires together. But then it makes it a little easier. Just feed one wire through and then you can track it back a little bit easier than trying to deal with the five wires connected to this and flipping it over here and tucking it in to, you know. Yeah, in and but out I wouldn't, I, I would not suggest doing this for ones that you have no idea where they go. I would suggest doing this for ones that you're pretty sure you can get rid of and they're tangled. I would not do this with all of them. Yeah, for ones that you're about 99% sure you can get rid of, this would be an easy way to do it. The ones that you're unsure about, the best way to do is, is grab the end of the wire and just trace it all the way along until you get to your fuse panel um, to make sure that that is one that you're going to be able to remove. Uh, like I said, doing this electrical stuff, um, it's very tedious work, it's time consuming. I know some people don't even bother with it, um, you know, but uh, this is one thing that we felt we should do because of what we've taken out from the air conditioning units. Um, then the air conditioning cables back here. We've already taken out probably at least 100 pounds of wires before doing all this. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a pile on the floor right now that is probably close to another 50 pounds, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have a whole video of stupid things you do with your hair.